Epithelial tissue is classified based on cell shape and the number of layers it has. The term simple means the tissue consists of one layer. The term stratified indicates that it is composed of two or more layers. The term squamous indicates it has thin, flattened cells at its apical surface, the surface facing the lumen. The term cuboidal means these cells would be cube-shaped or boxy, and columnar would indicate that the apical cells are long and thin, like a column. Remember that it is the shape of the cells of the apical surface, or those that line the lumen, that give the tissue its name. In fact, the shape of the cells and the rest of the tissue may be really variable. On a slide, the lumen might look like the open space in a blood vessel, the, the hollow of an organ, or even the open space exterior to the skin. All epithelia are avascular, meaning they lack a blood supply. They depend on their connection with a basement membrane for diffusion of nutrients and gases from an underlying connective tissue, like a real or connective tissue. In epithelia, the cells attached to a basement membrane are highly mitotic. All epithelial tissue depend on intracellular junctions like tight junctions, gap junctions, and desmosomes to maintain their shape and connection to nutrients. The name simple squamous epithelium means it has one layer of flattened cells with small or flat nuclei. The tissue has wispy, sometimes almost imperceptible cytoplasm in its cells. This is because the tissue forms barriers between body areas, but allows nutrients, gases, and fluids to pass through. It doesn't use its cytoplasm as a factory to build or store materials, so it doesn't have much of it. The dominant role of simple squamous epithelia in our bodies is diffusion. Nutrients, fluids, and gases move from the lumen or apical surface through the simple squamous epithelial barrier and into another tissue type, or vice versa. These epithelia are like a thin piece of saran wrap. They can be easily damaged and are so thin that they are often hard to see on a microscope. Because they are thin and smooth, they can even act to reduce friction, such as in cirrhosal membranes like the pleura and pericardium. In some areas of the body, the simple squamous epithelia are porous to facilitate movement of materials such as in capillaries or in kidney glomeruli. When viewing capillary epithelia, one would find a small round lumen surrounded by thin, plate-like simple squamous epithelia cells containing very little cytoplasm. By contrast, the simple squamous epithelia of the alveolar sacs in the lungs, the cells have a bunchier look and surround an amorphous lumen. The cells become thinner and tauter as the air sacs fill with gases during inspiration. When deflated, as seen on your slides, the cytoplasm and cells resume a bunchier appearance.